What's up? What's up? What's going on? How's everyone doing today? How's everyone going, doing today? Type in one if you can hear me. What's going on, everybody? Yes, yes. Type in one if you can hear me. Good, good. Margaret, Elizabeth, how are you? Thanks for joining. Good, good. So today, this is really going to be um, it's type of informal. I really just wanted to talk about the market and um, to see where you, where, you, where you guys are as far as your business and tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been in the business for about three years. Um, so my first year um, as a notary, I did it part-time. I was a real estate agent prior to. And um, the second year I decided to go full-time. This is like right around COVID and um, the market slowed down as everyone knows. But um, over the last year, I started a signing service and in a crazy market, um, but uh, it's been a great experience. So that's just all about me. I really just wanted to talk to you to kind of get your feedback. So if you have any questions, just let me know what questions you have for me or what questions you have about the business. Um, how's your business going so far this year? Um, I'd like to know that. Um, also, um, uh, I would like to invite you guys to the stage. Um, so I'm going to send, send over a link so that way you can join the stage and that way we can talk and speak in person. So I'm going to send the link over now. Hopefully you can just copy and paste it. I'm going to paste it in the chat here. Give me one second. There we go. All right. All right. So I paste the link in the chat. Um, once you join through this link here, um, you'll be able to connect and join the stage. So I would love to, to speak to you guys in person to see how your business is, what you've been doing. Um, but I mean, for my signing service business, uh, things have been picking up as far as refinances nationally. Um, I'm based here in, I'm based in New Jersey. Um, but I do handle um, closings nationally. So a lot of my business is in Pennsylvania. I have some in California, some in um, mostly on the East Coast, though, like a lot in Florida. And uh, it's starting to pick up. So, I mean, there's been a lot of chat going on about the rates and uh, going down. So I am seeing um, business pick up, thank God. But the beginning of the year has been a little slow after the holidays, but um, business is definitely picking up. Hi, Liz. I'm going to add you to the stage. Hi, Liz. How are you? Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, Liz. I'm going to add you to the stage. Hi, Liz. How are you? So, so uh, you have any questions? Uh, how's business going for you? There's a major echo going on. So, uh, you have any questions? Uh, how's business going I think you. you I'm hearing a little echo. All right, I'll just meet you for now. Thank you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Are you putting all right? So I guess Liz is putting in her headset. So I'm just gonna mute you for now. And once, once you get your headset in, then we can um go from there. But yeah, I mean, business for me has been has been cyc cyclical. And I think that um in this business we have to kind of realize like you know, the beginning of the year, business slows down and then it picks up during the spring, summertime, um, slows down a little bit, then it spikes up again. And then during the holidays, is this of a roller coaster? So, all right. So, uh, you ready, Liz? Here. Can you hear okay. me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you great now. Okay. Good. Good. So, how are you, Liz? Oh, I I can't I can't hear you. There's a repeat going on. Uh oh. See. Okay, I think that's it. You can't... Are you good now? Okay. Uh, let's see audio. <laughs> and this could be a little bit tricky. Audio. Did it work? Yes, I can hear you. Great. Oh, 
Thank goodness. Oh, we did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Yes, Liz. So pleasure to meet you. Tell me a little bit about yourself and your business. So there's a there's a repeat of the audio going on. Okay. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's me. Let me just try something here. There's a repeat of the audio going on. Let's try it again. Do you still hear the repeat? No. Okay, perfect. Good, good, good. Oh, okay. Sorry. No. I think it's fine. Oh, sorry. It kind of is happening. It's still happening, huh? Uh-oh. All right. This is, uh, let me see. What can I do on my side? Um, um, so maybe, maybe I should put a headset on, too, I'm thinking. Should I refresh my screen? Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Or maybe uh, how about this? How about if you type? How about if you type in your question and then I can I can answer any questions that you have? Would that work? Okay. So uh, we're having some technical difficulties with Liz, but um, hopefully she can type in her questions. I'll bring the question on to the. I'll add the question to the stage and then I'll, I can answer the best as I can. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and bear with me. This is my actually areas. This sort of question. So advice on a new loan signing agent. Yeah. So, uh, advice is, um, the, the advice I would have for a new signing agent is to, depending on how many signings you have, you have I was, I, okay. So let me just tell you about what I did when I started a few years ago. Um, I signed up for every signing service there was. So I signed up for signing every, every signing service. I'm not sure if you, um, took Mark's course, but in, um, part of the course, um, he get, it was a list that they would put together of all the different signing services in the, the nation. And I basically every day I was signed up for 10 to 20 signing services every day until I had about like a hundred signing services under my belt. And I was fortunate because I joined the business when during COVID the rates was very low. Everyone had money to spend. And, um, um, I was able to get a lot of business. My phone would ring off the hook and it was like a goal. It was like the gold rush, you know, <laughs> or, the, or the signing service, the signing rush. And, um, and during that time, I would, my phone would just ring off the hook. I mean, I'll be sleep at night and my phone would be pinging for, for signings. Uh, so I was fortunate to get at least uh, 50 signings under my belt. And once I had 50 signings under my belt, then I went direct to um, the title agencies. Okay. So I'm not sure if you own a home yourself, but um, I'm not sure if you own a home yourself, but for uh, for me, um, I, I own my I own, I own a house. So I went to the title agency that did the closing for me. And the, the title agency that did the, the closing for me, I went to them and said, hey, you recently closed on my house. You know, I'm now uh, a notary and I'd like to do some work for you. And they was like, okay. And then they started sending me business. And that's how I got my first direct client. Um, and once I got more experience and I started reaching out to other uh, title agencies and locally in my area. And then I just went from one to two to three to 10, um, uh, different title agencies. So that's, that's kind of how I got started. Okay. So I'm going to show this one. So Margaret says she did the same thing, but she did it through email. Right. So, right. You can do it through email, but if you have a title agency that's local to you, um, but I'd, I'd advise you to just go to walk into their office and introduce yourself. Um, try to bring some goodies, bring some cookies, some donuts, something like that with you. Walk in, and it makes it easier to walk into the, the title agency when you bring something for them. Um, you bring, you bring, go there first thing in the morning, introduce yourself, drop off your business card, take one of their business cards, and then follow up. That's that's the best thing to do. Okay, so Liz, I'm going to invite you, but I'm going to invite you back on stage. Hopefully, we could get this squared away. Okay, how is it this time? Great, it's great for me. You said, but you were hearing an echo. I had the other screen open. Okay, so that's why I kept hearing everything on repeat. Uh, okay, okay. Um, Ooh, I thought it was something that I, I, that was wrong on my end that was causing problems. Sorry about uh, that. 
No problem. Um, I'm also a, a notary in New Jersey. I'm a brand new notary. I haven't okay, even great. notarized one document yet. Oh, wow. Mostly, okay. mostly due to fear. I've been oh, setting okay. this up for a couple of months now. Um, the fear is holding me back. Okay. So let's stop there. So what are you fearful of? Let's, let's talk about it. Making mistakes. Uh, Making mistakes. Having to deal with irate clients. Uh, you know, how do I resolve those issues uh, right. if they happen? Right. Right, right. So um, that's 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 a fear that you can that that's common, you know. Especially if you haven't done your first one, that that's that's something that you can definitely stop you from going back. But the the, the way to do it is just like really to go in head head first, you know. Sign up for as many signing services as you can. Um, as I was mentioning to Margaret, sign up for as many signing services as you can. Um, sign. You know what a signing service is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you know what a signing service is. So like you want to sign up for um, as many as you can and, and get on their radar and then they'll send you business. I mean, it's better. I hate to say it. So I'm a signing service. I want a signing service myself, but it's better if you mess up with a signing service than you do when you start going direct. Meaning when I say direct, meaning going direct to title agencies. Um, I'm going to tell you my, my story on how I started. So when I started my very first signing, during COVID, it was a time where we have to go in people's backyards and do signings and things like that. My very first signing was actually with a direct client. They called me and it was like, hey, we have an emergency. We need you to do sign a document. So of course I'm nervous. So I went out, I printed the docs and I went to, I was in, I was in their backyard. Papers were flying everywhere. Um, I printed the docs incorrectly because like, um, you know, all my test runs, everything was perfect. But of course, when I had to print the actual document to it was a messed up. So I didn't realize that until when I got there, the documents were cut off and things like that. Um, so I say that to say that the first one is probably going to be bad. You know, you're probably not going to, you're probably not going to do everything perfectly, but you're going to look back on it and say, man, you know, I'm glad that I messed up early. Then I'm, I messed up, you know, later on. So the way to overcome the fear is to just go out there and do it. You know, where, where are you based? I'm in Hudson County. Oh, you're um, Hudson, also, okay. Yeah, I'm also not an LSA. I'm just general notary work is what I'm starting with. I work full time. Okay. And I'm aiming, um, I'm eligible for retirement from my full time at the end of this year. So awesome, this awesome. is going to be my, hopefully my transition career will be notary work. Okay. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, yes. I, the reason I signed up for this webinar tonight is because I saw you on an interview and um, you mentioned being an introvert and yes. I'm an introvert and I'm okay. wondering how you broke through and put yourself out there to market your business and how you did that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, first and foremost, um, I haven't broke, I haven't broke through yet. I'm, I'm still like a thousand percent introvert. Um, and yeah. Um, like me doing this is me forcing myself to come out my shell. So like, honestly, I would never do anything like what I'm doing right now. Like, but I understand that in order for me to take my business to the next level, in order for me to take this myself to the next level, you have to put yourself out there. Um, so it's just really about forcing yourself really to do what you don't want to do, whatever you feel uncomfortable doing. So that's walking into title agencies. You gotta feel you gotta feel uncomfortable doing that. Um, going on live webinars like what you're doing right now, that's something that um you have to force yourself to do, right? So I mean, it's it's really just having courage to do it. That's really what it is. That's 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 all it is. Cause what's stopping you from getting to the next level, right? It's putting yourself out there. So I in order for you to grow personally and grow in your business you gotta you gotta put yourself out there it's just like no way around it um i'm not saying to change who you are i'm not gonna change who i am i'm, I'm, I'm definitely an introvert but i understand that if i want to grow my business that's what i have to do so that's what i would encourage you to do just take small Thank steps you. i mean i mean take small steps like what how about this why don't you call uh what do you are you signed up for like um snap docs or like I'm signing order. Uh, no, yeah. actually, I, I all I can do at this point is general notary work. I haven't even considered loan signings at this point because so I would okay. like to get comfortable with general notary work. 
Okay. I'm just very, um, I'm, I'm not really sure where to go to, to market my business <laughs> besides yeah, so online. Yeah. So for general notary work, um, I'd recommend you connect with attorneys. Um, a lot of times attorneys need um, documents notarized, like power of attorney. That's like a general, like POEs. That's a general document that you will notarize. It usually requires one stamp. Um, so that's connect with attorneys, attorneys' offices, and let's let them know that, hey, you know, I'm a, I'm a notary. If you have anything you know, available, I do general notary work. I like to, um, you know, begin to do some work for you. And then you say, I'll do the first one for free. I mean, anything just to start, get your feet wet. And then they'll send you business. Great, thank you. Just in your business, power of attorney. Um, that that's a that's a that's a good one. Um, I don't I don't do that much general notary work, but like um, I'm just trying to think about another one for you. All right, I'll think about it, and I'll I'll, I'll definitely get back to you and let you know. I, I appreciate what you've said so far because that really gives me an angle of how to approach them, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Of course, of course. Yes. So, um, so, um, so what kind of uh, work do you do now or what way you were tiring from? Social work. Social work. Okay. Yes. Social work. But I've also okay. done paralegal work there um, for that agency. So I'm not completely new to legal documents. It's just very different types. <laughs> okay. Of legal yeah. document. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Awesome. So do you plan on doing um, loan signings eventually? It may, it's something that's on my radar. Uh, I did take one training with a lady that's also here in New Jersey. It's about a four hour training. And to tell you the truth, the documents were overwhelming. I don't know anything about real estate. I don't own my own home. So I felt all of it was way over my head as a new notary. Maybe yes, eventually yes. I'll be okay with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be, it could, it could be, um, you know, overwhelming at first. But honestly, um, what I mean, I'd recommend to take. I mean, you took, you taken a course already. But what I would recommend that you do is try to get a sample package and just look over it. Um, and it's, and it's really, it's really not that hard. I mean, you just have to tell. You, once you familiarize yourself with the documents, then it's easy to go. Is is. It's pretty much a breeze after that once you once you um, understand the documents and honestly the whoever hires you whether it be a title company or whether it be a signing service um they expect you to know you know the basics about the documents but if you have like a, a question especially if you get the documents or the package uh, beforehand and you have a chance to review it and you have any questions they'll be able to um you'll be able to you know, pick their brain. Hey, what, did, what does this mean? What does that mean? What did, on page 30, what is this? And then they can kind of guide you okay. on you know, what's required, things like that. But um, usually usually most times you get the documents a few hours, sometimes even a day um, or two you know, ahead of time. So it gives you an opportunity to go through the documents and, and kind of understand it. And honestly, like I, I would suggest that you follow Mark Wills. Um, that's who I got trained from. And that's who you saw me. Um, yes. Uh, that's where you saw me on the interview. Um, I recommend, you know, take his, if you can take his course, if you can't let's follow, let's watch all his videos he has online. He has, he, he does a lot of things for free. And he also does a lot of free mentoring sessions that you can go to and um, just follow him. You know, he's really the, the goat when it comes to like notary training and he understands everything about the business. Yeah. I have a question, another question, if you don't mind. Of course, of course. My other question is, uh, when I spoke, when I took this one-on-one -on -one training um, with the lady, she actually was a title agent. Okay. And um, she goes over the package in detail, which was also a little bit overwhelming for me. Is that the same way that you... Uh, execute a package. Do you go into full detailed explanation about each document with the with the client? Okay, so that's a funny topic, right? So, as a title agent, they by law they can really explain everything to you because they are certified to do so. As a notary sign, as a signing agent, uh, we are not supposed to technically explain the documents to them. 
Um, and that's a gray area, right? Because you want to kind of give them a, a, a bird's eye view of what the document means um, and point out on the actual document um, what they're signing because they need to know what they're signing. Um, but like, for example, if they ask, why is this number a certain way? You, I mean, honestly, you can't answer it because like you technically, you only had the documents for, you know, you, you're, you're looking at the documents most times for the first time yourself you know, or the second time if you reviewed it. So you can't really answer those questions. So you, you know, you would refer to the person who um, sent you on that signing. So if the way that a title officer would explain a document to a signer is will be a little bit different than how you would explain a document to the signer. A lot of times the title officer, the title officers drafted a lot of um, pages in those documents or they were involved from the beginning with, they work. They work closely with the loan officers, so they understand the numbers. They understand what changed over time, things like that. Whereas we, as um, signing agents, we don't. You know, we. This is the first time we've really seen the package, so we can't really answer a lot of some of those detailed questions that a signer might have. Might have. So there's a specific to answer your question. There's a specific way that we should probably go over the package, and it's more so of a bird's eye view of the package, whereas a a title, a title officer may go into more detail or like an attorney may go into more detail about a specific package, especially like when they talk about mortgages and, and things like that. You know, they talk about the legalities of a mortgage document and the legalities of a, a note, a promissory note, which is a promise to pay, things like that. And they'll go over the details and the legalities of specific documents. Whereas we as signing agents, we're not, we're not, we're not attorneys, unless you are an attorney, but we're not attorneys. We're not uh, CPAs, we're not, you know, we don't, we don't, you don't hold those uh, certifications. So um, we answer the document, we answer as best as we can. And if they're, if the signer is not satisfied with that, then we refer to whoever sent us. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yep. 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 Thank you for clarifying. Of course. Well, Liz, I mean, yeah, I mean, just, just keep at it, you know, just keep at it, just keep pushing forward as far as what you want to do break out of your shell um, as far as being an introvert. Um, that's really the, the way it is because um, becoming be, becoming a, a signing agent is really where the money is as a notary, you know? Um, you can make anywhere between, I mean, you're in Jersey, and I mean, anywhere between 150 to 250 is signing, you know, depending on where it is. So I'm not sure what your, you know, situation is, but I mean, you do a few of those a day, you know, you'll be all right. You know, um, so, you know, I encourage you and you have my information. You can contact me anytime unless you have Thank any you. other questions. No, I, I, I'm not sure that I do have your information. Um, um, I, yeah, I'll share, I'll share, I'll sh you know, I'll put my, I'll put my email on here Thank so you. everybody have it. Okay. So that's my, that's my email. So you can just email me and then uh, we can exchange information and, and go from there. Thank you. All right. I appreciate your time this evening. Of course, of course. All right. Um, let me see. So Margaret had a question. What's my preferred package? So um, I'm going to um, maximize my screen. And then if you need to come back, just let me know. OK. All right. So um, Margaret, Margaret had a question. She said, what's my preferred loan signing package? Um, whatever package is small, <laughs> that's my preferred package, but no, this, the, this, in, in all seriousness, I don't really have a preferred package. Um, most packages that I receive are pretty standard. Um, um, I, most loan packages are pretty standard. They come in between hundred to 150 pages. If it's a, depending on how many signers, I can go up to 250 pages. So it all depends. Um, but yeah, whatever package is the smallest. And a lot of times, a lot of packages that I'm seeing nowadays are like hybrid signings. So where the the um the the lender is allowing the signer to e-sign like half the package and then they, whatever requires wet signature they bring to the closing table. I love those because then the packages are like 30 to 30 to 50 pages. So then you kind of could go through it really quickly and the signing is pretty quickly. But um then Margaret to answer. Your question, whatever package is the smallest, is what I prefer. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, I really wanted this to be kind of very informal. I'm not here to sell you anything or to sell anybody anything. 
I really just want to be a resource to you. And I also want to, I don't want to serve, you know, so I want to serve anyone that needs assistance. And um, that's, that's really my goal is really to be um, of service. Serving is, is, is what we all should thrive for. You know, we serve each other as notaries. We serve our clients, which we could be the loan officer or the title officer. And of course, we serve the people that we're in front of when we do the signings. You know, um, if you lead with serving, everything else would, would would all the pieces will come in place. Yes. So, um, yeah, man. So, if anyone have any questions, I'm 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 here to answer them. I hope this was a very this was good. I didn't invite that many people to this to the um to this because I kind of wanted to test run. This is the first time I'm using this package of software. So I kind of want to like feel it out a little bit before I like have a boatload of people come on. Um, okay, I'm gonna show this question that says, you're from Sussex, New Jersey. I'm signed up for your signing service. I'm always here. Uh, yes, of course, absolutely. So whenever I have any signings, I always send it out. They go kind of quick, you know, it's kind of on a first come first serve basis because um, it's the, the platform I use is SnapDocs. And the way the SnapDocs works is they send it out to the notaries and whoever accepts it first, they'll they'll pick that notary. But absolutely, Margaret, and of course. And there's a lot of business coming because I have a lot in the pipeline that's coming. Um, a lot of my old clients, actually, that went out of business are starting to get back into business now, which is a good sign. Um, so, and, um, I have a, a title agency that I work with in, in, um, central New Jersey that all they do is refis. And I think during the, um, the market increase, their business suffered dramatically. And, um, they reached out to me the other day and they tell me like, you know, they're getting, trying to gear things up and kind of prepping me for, for business. So I know that, um, you know, business is definitely going to pick up, um, in the spring, summertime. So. That's great. So, all right, guys. I know it's late, nine thirty, almost past my bedtime. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to um, jump on here and just talk to you guys. Um, if anyone else have any questions, encourage on the webinar. Absolutely. Thanks, Liz. Thank you for jumping on to the webinar. Thank you for having the courage to break out of being an introvert and coming on stage and talking. Um, yeah. So if no one else have any questions, I think that we could sign off. I'll try to do this again in the next few weeks. And next time there'll probably be a lot more of us on here so that we can kind of pick each other's brains and see what we got going on. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night, everybody. And uh, until next time. All right. Got a little outro music. Thank you so much for watching. Access to you and your time is greatly appreciated and we don't take that for granted. Hope that we provided some value for you in this video. Be sure to check out the description notes below for any important links. Now, one favor to ask you, make sure to subscribe, like, and share, leave comments, all the YouTube -y stuff. All right. Until next time, have a blessed one.